Yeah, uh, in the teens. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to yeah. see some of that same cold air on its way down here. The, the forecast has changed just a little bit uh, for the AFC Championship, but as we said, they're in the teens. I'll have more on that forecast coming up. But today, here in North Texas, we did have a cold front that passed its way on through, and as it passed through, it switched our winds around to the north and to the northwest, cooled us down just a bit, had some dry air also settle in. So tonight, you're noticing mainly clear skies sitting overhead, and it's not a horrible night tonight at all. Our temperatures. Though are colder than this time last night by as much as 10 to 15 degrees. So that cooler air settled in, and our high today was slightly below average. Our major reporting stations, though, right now showing temperatures holding in the mid 40s. We're at 46 in Dallas to 43 in Fort Worth, with those winds remaining out of the northeast near about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But you notice that relative humidity starting to come up just a bit more as that moisture tries to hold on. So tonight, 45 to maybe 42 degrees in some spots, some outlying areas. Areas will be in the 30s. And then going into tomorrow, we'll see temperatures back really well above average into the low 70s for tomorrow afternoon. It's not going to rain all day, and the rain chances are really going to struggle to go up to maybe 20 to 30 percent by late in the day. Uh, I'm not noticing a whole lot of moisture to work with still, but we could see some rumbles of thunder. Here's some rumbles of thunder going into the evening hours with the potential of some strong storms. We might see a couple of storms approach severe limits, and if that happens, we'll be the first to let you know. So the future sky forecast shows tomorrow morning we're south of this warm front. Our winds at the surface are turning southerly to southeasterly and then southwest. So what that means is that warm air is in place, allowing us to warm into the 70s. Then we have the cold front that is on the way. So ahead of that, we have the potential of some scattered showers, maybe some isolated strong storms, as I talked about, before the front passes through. And then overnight, we see that front making its way through the metroplex on the back edge. There's the potential of some of the uh, precip mixing in with that cold air, and we could see maybe right near our Red River counties a little brush of maybe a little wintry mix. It won't last long, and it gets on out of here as we go into the late morning hours on Saturday, and our clouds then continue to clear its way on out. But definitely, what you'll notice is that cold air in place. So, with that wintry forecast, I'm being a little bit aggressive here with maybe some flurries north sides of the Metroplex. I think a lot of the activity stays above the state line. What doesn't stay above the state line? The cold air. This is what it's going to feel like by Saturday morning, 19 to 23 degrees. And same story then going into Saturday afternoon. It's going to feel much colder than the actual high temperature. But we talked about it 25 for Kansas City uh, going into Sunday afternoon for the AFC championship. Airing right here on CBS 11. By halftime, 21. I'm forecasting 17 by the fourth quarter, but the whole entire time, feeling like the teens to down near these single digits by the time the game is over. Well, you can watch it in the warmth of your house right here on CBS 11. Then going into Sunday, back closer towards home, we're at 49 degrees. By Monday, 60 degrees. We do have another front on the way Tuesday into Wednesday, cooling us back down, but nothing like we're going to see this weekend.